Here's three more simple strats to pop balloons to. Strat number one, Spirit of the Forest. Spirit of the Forest is one of the best towers in the game at dealing with dense balloon waves, wallowing even large rounds like 98. It struggles a little bit against large balloons, so pair it with some strong damage options like Mob Eliminator and Carpet of Spikes. Spirit pairs well with heroes like Oban, Etienne, and Sorda, either empowering it or covering its weakness to camo balloons. Start off with the dart and a druid to get going. Back it up with a sniper on round 8, and then save all the way up to Oban, in range of your original druid to maximize the buff. Keep playing on, upgrading the druid up to Druid of the Jungle when you can afford it. If round the 15 looks a little sus, use Open Brambles to shore it up. You should be able to buy it up on round 19, so set it back to first to stay safe. Cross path it with Hardborns when you can afford it. Before round 24, upgrade the sniper to Night Vision and continue on. You'll now save up enough money for a village, in range of your sniper and Oban, and upgrade it to Raynal Scanner before 33. If you can't afford it yet, use Oban's Brambles to stay afloat for 33. Afterwards, finish cross pathing your village with both discount upgrades, then complement your druid with another druid, giving this one Druid of Wrath and Thorn Swarm. Try to get at least 4 of them before the mob, all in range of the village, but you can get 5 if you budget wisely. Don't forget to use Brambles as well. After 40, take the time to save up to Jongo's bounty on your main druid. Give it a Berserker Brew buff as well to help deal the extra damage. Now you'll start upgrading all of your Druids of Wrath to Poplasts. You should be able to afford all of them by around 52. Once Oban unlocks trees, place them down as far back as they will go for extra defense. You won't struggle with anything else, so save all the way up to Spirit of the Forest. In this game, we afford it by round 74. Upgrade your Alchemist to Stronger Stimulant, buy another village, giving it both Discount and Jungle Drums, grabbing another Poplast to buff all the others up before 80. Spend the rest of your money on a balloon solver, shattering shells aimed at the front, and whatever else strikes your fancy. We bought a mob eliminator for round 100, and that should get the job done. The strategy works great for single lane maps with long length, so any beginner map, downstream, stream bed, even maps like shoots. Strat 2, Axis of Havoc. Snipers work best with snipers, at least that's what I'm told. So for this strat you'll get 2 for the price of 1, you'll beat chimps and get the achievement. For this strat, Geraldo is the best hero, however it can work with any hero, so we'll be using Quincy to make sure that everyone can follow along. Start with a dart and a sniper, set to strong. Add another sniper on strong, then save up for Quincy, son of Quincy. Add 2 more snipers on strong, then add a druid, upgrading it all the way to druid of the jungle. Again, give it a hard thorns and let solo with Quincy. Add a village in range of your snipers, giving it both discounts, and then upgrading a sniper to shrapnel shot with even faster firing and setting that to first. Add another village with discounts, upgrading another sniper to full metal jacket with the fast firing crossbar. Before 40, give it semi auto with large caliber. Continue upgrading the first sniper to bouncing bullet and give it a berserker brew. One of the villagers gets jungle drums, and now back to full auto on the fast sniper. Bouncing bullet gets upgraded to supply drop and then Elite Sniper before 60. Switch it back to first, as Elite Targeting is a bit of a bait. With your leftover money, upgrade the Alchemist to Stronger Stimulant Perishing Potions, and then place another bottom path bouncing bullet next to the Alchemist. Your nail save all the way up to Elite Defender, and put it back to first. So do that. Upgrade another Sniper to Main Moab with Shrapnel, keeping it on strong. Again, save all the way up to Cripple Moab, and that's the Axis complete. Give it Berserker Brew, add another Bouncing Bullet in, and upgrade the Berserker Brew to a stronger stimulant. Now, upgrade the other village to an MIB. Finish by spamming out more Snipers. Either Bouncing Bullets or Full Auto works, but 98 does get a little far here, so be warned. This should easily beat around 100, so uh, good job. Sniper spam is easily one of the top strategies in the game, so feel free to use it on pretty much any map that has good sidelines. Strat 3, Sub Spam. Sub Commander is an amazing all round tower that scales into the late game, so let's make good use of it here. Again, Brickle would be a better hero for a strategy like this, but it works well with anything, so we're using Quincy once more. Start by placing down a dart and a sub. Place the dart up front and the sub a bit further back. 
Save up to Quincy, son of Quincy. You'll upgrade the sub to advanced intel, and then airburst darts at around round 19. If you don't have camo, upgrade the original dart monkey, but with Quincy you're already set. Give your sub an alchemist, set to strong, upgrading it all the way up to berserker brew. Find space for a village, giving it both discount upgrades, and then upgrade the sub to triple guns. Get another triple gun sub, and then upgrade the original to armor piercing darts before 40. After 40, grab your third sub, going up to advanced intel with ballistic missile. Give the village jungle drums, and then buy up a fourth sub, again going for triple guns. This will afford you sub commander by around, around 59. Now upgrade the alchemist to stronger stimulant with perishing potions. Now you'll buy up as many subs as you possibly can, with advanced intel and triple guns, in range of your village, and in sub commander range as well, before round 72. After round 72, you'll start to save up once more to upgrade your ballistic missile to first strike, and then preemptive strike at around round 84. Finish up by adding a discount villager at the back, placing a spactory down and upgrading that all the way up to perma spike with white hot spikes. You'll give it a berserker brew to buff it up, as well as jungle drums on the village. If you're a little afraid of the later rounds, use your Quincy abilities to be safe. Use the preemptive ability on round 100, and you're all good. Use sub spam on maps with large enough pools of water, or just any water, so pretty much any maps that you want. Anyway, this has been 3 more easy strats to make lo-fi to. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.